Welcome back, everyone, to Virtue's Last Reward. So in the last one... Wow, guess what, everyone? I made a mistake. I bet everyone's so shocked and surprised about it, and everyone's mad at me, and I'm mad at everyone, and we're all just grumpy. <laughs> so we're looking around a little before we have to go to the next area. I went into the lounge and talked to the ladies, uh, and I guess I'm getting kicked out, so we're gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> Fine. I didn't want to stay in here anyway. You guys gonna stick around here? Yeah. Yeah, they, this is girls' time. They don't want you here, Sigma. I haven't really taken a good look at everything yet. Okay, well, neither have I, but I guess I'm still leaving for some reason. Okay. Catch you later, then. Bye, Jesus. I waved goodbye and headed toward the exit. Where to next? Well, I mean, there's only one other place. That we haven't been, anyway. We might have to go visit the crew quarters anyway, so let's see. All right, who's in here? Let's take a look. Doors, lots of doors. Infinite doors. All right. Hello? Oh, look at this. This looks like a fun place. Is there nobody in here? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Listen. All right. We're going to have a little chat. <laughs> you and me, madam. So, this is the infirmary, huh? Oh, Sigma. Hey, girl. Uh, what are you doing? Alice. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right in front of me, actually. The fuck? I'm, bitch, why did you do it? Are you still angry? Yes, uh, yes I am. Of course. I'm teetering on the brink of the abyss, thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did. There was a choice. There was two options, ma'am. That is the li that is the literal term of a choice. A choice was having one option or no option. You had options. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. Uh-huh, just looking after yourself and your own two titties. I get it, ma'am. But they were not gonna save you, as great as they are. That's enough to justify screwing someone else over? That's not what I meant, and you know it. But that is what you did. That's what your actions are telling people, madam. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose ally, then I would have chosen ally too. Well, guess what? I'm never allying with you. I, mean, I didn't even know. How am I supposed to be here today? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Easy for you to say that now. Oh, shit. You're here, Clockwork Orange. How you doing? What? Yeah, it is easy for you to say that now. He's absolutely right, actually. Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> no, you're not. But, I mean, you could have at least thought that maybe everybody else wanted to get out of here, too. I have to get out of here. Why? What the fuck? You got, like, a fucking... You got somewhere to be? I think we're all kind of fucked right now. There's so many things I still want to do. Ma'am, don't freak out on me now. I'm sure there's a lot of things that everyone here wants to do. Like what? Yeah, let's hear it. Should be good. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh God, what's it? I'm afraid. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. Wow, what a good reason. I'm so glad that you might be getting out of here to do that. I want to eat tons of delicious food and fall in love. Uh, okay. What an idiot. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Hello. <laughs> we all know what Ten's gonna do. He's gotta go back to his porn stash. It's very important. Excuse me? To be fair, he's right. And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. Ha <laughs> bitch! Get fucking wrecked, motherfucker! That's what... <laughs> That's a big shallow gets you. Ugh. Look. Let me try this again. Okay. Make up a good lie this time, all right? Your titties ain't gonna save you. I'm frustrated well sexually or what are you we talking about hey can you guys leave for a minute but there really is something important i have to do it really won't be long like five minutes max all right <laughs> which is what is it girl don't look so sad what 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 avenge my father's murder oh well, see, <laughs> Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Like, I get it's a big deal, but if you opened with that, instead of like, oh my god, I want to wear, like, such pretty clothes, maybe people would have, like, related to you a little bit more. That's what I have to do. Okay, well, that's a little more important, isn't it, than eating food? A little bit. Food is pretty good. What happened to him? Could you elaborate on that? No, I couldn't. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it is, I mean, it is personal, and you don't know me. This isn't the kind of thing I should be telling people I don't even know. Well, let me tell you. You might not know me, madam, but at least I didn't fucking hit betray on your ass, did I? So maybe I'm your only friend in here. I'm just saying. 
What you pogging now? What you pogging about? Fine. Just tell me one thing. Does your father's murder have anything to do with us being trapped here? I have no idea. Okay. So it's not a no, but it's not a yes yet. As to why you're here, your guess is as good as mine. Okay. But it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. Is it? I guess so. Meaning? I was on their trail. Oh, oh, I see. I was tracking down the people who killed him. Mm-hmm. How close were you? I can't say. Okay. But it's possible that I was getting close enough that they decided something had to be done with me. Oh, I see. Okay. Are you a detective? Well. Well? I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. Are you like a Sherlock Holmes kind of folk? Not a bad guess, though. Oh, okay. What, so... Wait, what else could it be? A Sherlock Holmes kind of thing? <laughs> Dog the bounty hunter? Why are you guys looking at me like that? Well, because you don't have a shirt on, of course. What do you... What, you got eyes? So do we. <laughs> Well, I mean, you don't really have the detective look. I didn't say I was a detective. Well, okay, but are you a stripper that pretends to be a detective? This is, that's different. I, listen, and I'm not shaming you if you are. The hustle is, is serious. I respect the hustle, but are you a stripper? <laughs> then what are you? CIA? No. But they wouldn't let her go anywhere near the CIA office wearing that. Everyone would just coom. Fine, well, whatever you are, you don't look like one. That's fine. Yeah, well... In my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. Oh, it's one of those things. Undercover, perhaps. Better I keep them guessing. Right. No one's guessing anything with the way you're dressed right now. I gotta be honest with you. Not that I'm complaining, by the way. I like it. I'm not judging anyone that wants to dress however they want. But, uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey, what's the deal with you and Clover? Oh, maybe we could find out about that. I doubt she's going to answer, though. But thanks for just asking it. What's she got to do with anything? We don't need to have tact. It's fine. The tact has gone out the window. Why are you getting so mad? Well, you know each other, right? Yeah, can you talk about that? I was thinking maybe you were related or worked together or something. Well, they certainly don't look related, but... No. None of those things? She has nothing to do with my work. Okay, but what does she have to do with? She's just a friend that I met somewhere. It, was it in the desert? <laughs> in the middle of nowhere? After some weird experiment? You can tell me. Where somewhere? In the middle of a desert. Oh, <laughs> it is her. It's actually her. I thought I was actually just being stupid because I'm like, it's not really her, is it? It's just coincidence that it looks like her. Is it actually the girl they picked up at the end of the game? Why though? A desert? What were you doing? Yes. What were you, like, fucking pod racing or something out there? But that's an awfully long story. Uh, I mean, we got time. What do we have, like, 30 minutes left? I'm just saying, that's that you could do a lot in that time. You, you could. Wait, hold on. Why am I the only person getting the third degree? Because we feel like it, and also you're stinky, and you chose Betray. And now we're all looking at you. These are the consequences of your actions. You fucked around and found out, madam. That doesn't seem fair to me. Well, I'm sorry, but you got you became very sus the minute you did that. How about you guys give up a little personal information, too? Like what? You don't give a shit about any of us. Go ahead, Ten. Tell her about the porn. That'll, <laughs> that'll loosen her up. We'll start with you, Ten Miyoji. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Who are you? Just a garbage collector. What? That's it? You don't look like a garbage collector to me, to be honest. Any ties to Zero? None. Uh-huh, okay. What's your relationship with Quark? <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to talk about that. You two know each other, right? True, true, it seems like. You gonna go for it? You try to get her to spill. Do I have to answer that? Listen, this isn't like truth or dare or something. <laughs> You're just fucking answer it or don't. Huh, if you really don't want to, it's not like I can force you. True. Oh. <laughs> he, but he was hoping you would. And I apologize, but I don't have anything to say about that subject. Okay. I mean, it's not like you told us everything either. I see. Yeah, yeah, well, he's right, though. You didn't say anything. Very well, then. How about you? Dio, it's your turn. Haha. 
What's your profession? What do you play in the circus? Are you like the, the ringmaster or like a head clown or what? Well, you're probably gonna think I'm full of shit, but... How much clussy do you get on a daily? Because you are actually attractive, even though you're clearly an ass. I'm a circus ringleader. Oh, for fuck! Guys, I was kidding! <laughs> but I guess it's, there's only one look for that kind of person, and here we are. All right, so wait, but really, how much clussy do you get then? My, my question is now even more important than ever. A lot? Or a little? Moderate? A ringleader? You're kidding. Why the fuck would they want you then? Nope. I'm the real deal. Really? Okay. I lead a company of about 50 people. We travel all over the world. Okay, that's nice. It was my grandfather's grandfather who founded it, but my father died at a young age. I'm a fifth generation ringleader. Wow, interesting. My old man was a trapeze artist. He tried to do this quadruple flip and missed. Oh Jesus, oh Christ. Well, I guess he wasn't really young. He was about 40 still. What do you, wait, I'm sorry, what are you saying? Sir, shut your mouth. What you mean, 40's young? Oh shit, I feel personally attacked. He was pretty reckless for a guy that age. What a rude fucking young man you are. Always talking about how he couldn't let the kids show him up. Oh shit, I say that often. He just took it too far. It's like an old person thing to say. Oh no, and now he's dead. Well then maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. I see. Shit. You lost your father too then. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys can bond over that, I guess. Let's look at the sink in the meanwhile. Shit. Guess I got a little sappy there. It's okay. I, I'm actually glad to know a little bit more about you. Shit, he's been the most forthcoming so far, if that story is true. Anyway, point is, I don't have any damn idea how I'm connected to Zero. It doesn't seem like there's a connection anyway, not yet. I got grabbed on the last night of one of our tour stops. Okay. I'd gone out to a couple bars and gotten shit-faced. <laughs> okay, I'd like to party with you, I think. On my way back to the caravan, this black van pulls up. Somebody grabs me and throws me inside. Mm -hmm. Before I can even get a look at them, they hit me with that gas and I'm out like a light. I see. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the AB room. So he was actually taken from something. Like, like not in his own car or anything, he like just grabbed off the street. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, enough about me. Okay. You still haven't heard your story, Sigma. Oh, you guys ready? It's a great one. Who are you? Here it comes again. I told you guys the first time we met. Don't you remember? I was on my way home from school. And when I got into my car, this white gas started pouring out of everywhere. Are you some kind of doctor? Um, maybe. A pants, do pants doctor? That means you, I inspect the pants. Uh, so take off. Your, your pants, and if you don't have pants, don't worry, I'm also qualified to take off skirts and other various bottom items. Okay, no? It's not working, shit. Huh? No, I'm still working on my degree. I'm shooting for a PhD, but I'm not quite there yet. I guess you've been working on that for quite a while, huh? Well, it takes a long time to become a doctor, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess I have. Can you think of anything that might connect you to any of this? Listen. No idea. Believe me, I've thought about it, but I just keep drawing a blank. What about Zero? Well, I don't know any rabbits in my life, not really. No idea. Do any of the people here look familiar to you? No. Except Fi, but we don't know what that flashback was all about, if that flashback is even to be believed. No. You're all strangers. Well, I, I guess I can't really say for sure about Kay, since I haven't seen his face. I suppose it's possible he's someone I know. Just who is he, anyway? I mean, he could be anybody. We don't know. Until that amnesia clears up, I don't think we've got any way of knowing. Oh, come on. You know he's full of shit. Well, I don't know. Maybe and maybe not. I can't tell. You still don't believe him? Of course not. Okay, well, K is a bit of a mystery, but what about some of the others? Clover, for instance. What does she do? I think she's a student. At night, she's a waitress or a bartender or something. Okay. But you're friends, right? You, shouldn't you know a little more than that? Seems weird. What about Cork? Well, I guess he probably doesn't really have a job, huh? He's still in elementary school, right? <laughs> 
That's so funny. Why is that funny? It's nothing. Uh, oh, okay. Just forget about it. Well, 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 thanks for making it awkward. Yeah, you're right. Boy his age would be in elementary school. Would be? Why is he not? You really don't know much, do you? What? Hello? About Quark, I mean. No, I don't. I just got here. Wait, how do you guys all know? If it makes you feel better, I'm sure. Oh, I, I guess I guess she was saying that to him like he doesn't know his own, like, relative. Okay, that's weird. Do you not well, know your own relative? I know a little about Luna. Yeah? I got her talking when we were in the infirmary. Okay. She says she's got some sort of medical license or something. So another reference to medical of some kind. She's a nurse? It could mean she's a doctor. I don't know. She didn't say. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can get it out of her if we ask. Just going by how she looks, though, I'd guess nurse. Why? Because she's a girl? It's weird. No one said that anything. That leaves us with Phi. Okay, well, don't ask me. I spent all that time with her and I don't know shit. All I know is that she's rude as she's hell. She's the most mysterious to me. True. What does a girl like that do? You've been around her the most, Sigma. Yeah, yeah, honestly, though, I've got no answer. Let me tell you, she's painting my fucking ass is what she is. She told you anything? No. Not a damn thing. Not even a little. Look, I just don't know, all right? Yeah, she doesn't know. It's just kind of... there. She did know who we were, though. At least our name. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. Well, are, are we going to tell them that, though? That's probably going to cast a lot of suspicion. I don't know if we should. Is it safe to do that, do you think? Uh-oh. No, nothing in particular. Ooh, Sigma's covering for her. You sure? Uh-oh, okay. Sigma, I probably would have done the same thing, because I'm not sure who's safe to tell that kind of thing just now. You don't know yet. Yeah. She's a real mystery, all right. Good job, Sigma. I would not have spilled that. No, because it, it, it could probably cause a problem. Until we know more. I honestly know as much as you do. So basically nothing. Ooh, Sigma, you lying a little bit, though. I hadn't really realized it until I said it. I'd spent hours with Fi, and yet I knew nothing about her except her name, and I only had her word that even that was the truth. Who was she, really? The more I thought about it, the more suspicious she seemed. Fake detective, a waitress, garbage collector, an elementary school kid, a nurse and a circus ringleader? Plus two total mysteries. What do we all have in common? I don't think Zero would just grab a bunch of people randomly. Yeah, I'm not sure either the ties here. It's too early to tell. There's no point to talking about this. All right, well... Sorry for trying to have a conversation. We should just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, I agree. Well, information can also be helpful to that end, no? I'm gonna go check on the others then. Where do you plan on going? I don't know, dude. Uh, only one place left. A place I've already been to. I think I'll head to the crew quarters. I see. Yeah, you wanna come with? Right. All right, I guess not. Later, bro. Bye. Okay. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser, I headed out of the infirmary. Back to where we've been. Let's freaking go. God, I feel like I need a monologue just for oh, how long that fuck, those fucking transitions are. Hello, what are you two doing? Perfect timing. Why? What's, what happened? You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? Listen, uh, that poster shit, I didn't fucking touch it. That wasn't me. The girls did that. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Nothing, all right? I just need you to know. Now, if they said it was me, they're lying. Yeah, I was. Fi, Alice, and I went through all the rooms. Did you find anything suspicious? Uh, yeah. 
Like a secret door or something? Nothing like that. I did find some a book. <laughs> if I had, you really think I wouldn't have told you? Anything else out of the ordinary, perhaps? Not the poster. That wasn't me. <laughs> what was me? Out of the ordinary? Huh. Yeah, the What's cat book. What's this book? Yeah, definitely. Give them that. See what they say about it. It's got to be something because they keep bringing it up. Huh? Oh, that's a book about a meowed cat. A meowed? Oh, Sigma. What are we going to do about this? Like, this is a problem, my dude. Oh, sorry. It's just this thing that's happened to me ever since I was a kid. Whenever I start talking about cats, I start talking like one. It doesn't really mean anything, though. Okay. <laughs> Subtle shade. <laughs> That's weird. It is weird. Thank you. I'm weird. Wait, what? Wait, what? Look at this. Look at this fucking thing the K is doing. It's so cute. Oh my god. It's doing an uwu face. So, what's the cat book about? Uh, I don't know. Honestly. Oh. Uh. Well, there's this quantum physics thought experiment called Schrodinger's cat. This book talks me out it. Oh, yes. I've heard about that. Okay. Can you tell me about it? A cat is put in a box with a device that has a random chance to release a poison which will kill the cat. Oh, no. Wait. No, I don't like that. Stop. I don't want to hear about that. That means the cat is both alive and dead until someone opens the box. No, that's terrible. Something like that, right? No. Meowby? What? I, I don't really know anything about it. I, I'm just telling you what Fi told me. So it probably <laughs> isn't going to give us any hints then. I mean, no one, to be fair, still nobody has opened it, and I don't know why. Just fucking open the book and see. Quark, you're doing it too. Listen, don't worry. You want to join us? You want to, okay, you want to be part of the cat squad? <laughs> Oops. You want to you be part of the cat gang, man? <laughs> Come on, let's just fucking go. Well, what about you guys? What do you mean? You checked out the lounge with Clover and Tenyoji, and Quark was in the infirmary with Dio and Luna. Anything suspicious there? Well, this whole facility is pretty suspicious, Well, but... that's true, but... I suppose that's not what you meant. Uh, it is not. Well, the puzzles in the lounge were Lunar Eclipse-themed. Oh, okay. Lunar Eclipse? Yes. Apparently, there's supposed to be a lunar eclipse on December 31st, 2028. Oh. All the puzzles were related to that somehow. I see. Isn't that this New Year's Eve? I suppose it is. What do you mean you suppose? Well, I can't say I know what year or even uh, oh, what day it is. Oh, of course. But Sorry, my dude. Uh, my bad. Clover was saying something to that effect. Okay. The 31st, huh? I had been knocked out at dawn on the 25th, so... The 31st would be six days after that. Lunar Eclipse? Lunar Eclipse. What did it have to do with any of this? Try as I might, I couldn't think of any way an eclipse could be connected to our abductions. Really? Shit. What about the infirmary, Quark? Did you find anything there? Yeah. What was in there? We did find something. What was that? Just one thing, though. Okay. <laughs> What was it? Dio and Luna didn't tell you? Mm, I don't think so. No? Okay. I got it right here. Oh, what, what? Just a second. Yeah, you know. oh. Cork reached into his pocket and pulled out what appeared to be a newspaper clipping. My throat began to tighten as I read it. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. Uh-oh. Okay. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Oh boy. I mean, that reminds us of something else. Is this for real? It seems a little hard to believe. Bit. Well, not anymore, I guess. If it really is some kind of pandemic, though, that sounds like a pretty big deal. Oh, Jesus. Yes, it does. Thank God I didn't play this a couple of years ago. There hasn't been anything on the news, though. This is the first time I've even heard the term Radical Six. If it is true, 
and I worry about what might be happening to the world outside. Uh oh, that's bad. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? Oh shit. Oh dear. We're, we're really getting into dang and rampa territory, aren't we? Okay. Clover's voice shattered the silence. You guys! What's wrong, girl? Hurry! You need to come with me! What's wrong? What happened? Has something happened? Oh, dear. Yes! I mean, sort of. I mean, we found something! Okay. What did you find? It's horrible! It's really scary! What? What is it? What the fuck? Did, ten did Tenshan take off his pants? <laughs> oh, shit. Horrible? Oh, never mind! Just shut up and follow me! Okay, there's no need to get upset! You'll understand when you see it! Oh, God. Alright. Where is it? It's right over here in the next room. Just follow me. What? We, what? What do you mean over here? We've been here before. Clover was first into the room, followed quickly by me, Kay, and Cork. So why are you here by yourself? She said nothing, just pointed under the bed. The three of us crouched down and followed her finger. There it was. The fuck is that? We've seen this before. The hell is this? I think it's a... a bomb. Uh, oh. <laughs> bomb? <laughs> no way. We have seen this, yet we saw it in our little flashback that we had. So, thank you, Sigma. Oh, shit. And then we saw something blow Goodbye. up, didn't we? Like, we, uh, like, legitimately blow up. Well, right here, right here. Where the fuck is this? That doesn't even look like fucking- that doesn't even look like a place. Of course. It was the same bomb I'd seen in my vision. This is not morphogenetic fields, is it? Is it? And it hadn't been a hallucination. But the- I don't remember. Can morphogenetic fields- Get to you with something that could possibly happen in the future? Well, yes, I guess it can, because, like, the timeline was all over the place in 999, but mostly we saw things from the past. If this was the past, then there's no way it could have blown up. But we also did that, but we also manipulated the future. Oh, no, oh, no. Okay, let's just hold on to this and see where the game takes us. Had it actually been a premonition? We need to tell everybody! Probably. No, it's alright. Wait, what do you mean? Luna's out rounding them up. Oh, oh, oh okay, I thought you were just not gonna tell them. I'm like, hang on, girl, you can't be that sus. They should be here in just a few seconds. Okay. Is everyone here? Hello? Hi, right, everyone get- everyone get cozy. See? Where is it? Ugh. Where's this bomb? I like how everyone rushed to the bomb, because, you know, that makes sense. No sooner had she spoken the words than the rest of our fellow captives appeared. Luna pushed through them and pointed at the bomb. There. You see? Oh. Uh, what are we gonna do? Ah, oh, shit. Assuming there's no way to detonate the thing. For several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly, we began to eye one another. Old suspicion suddenly reawakened. It was Fi who finally broke the silence. Doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. Well, that's what I'm saying. Does anyone know how to disarm it? There must be a remote somewhere. Wonderful. That could be anywhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort. Not a dead man switch. Okay. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Right, which I'm sure... I'm positive, 100%, that nobody here would grab it and push it. <laughs> mm. Definitely putting my trust in everyone here. <laughs> Who was the first person to find this? Me. Why were you here by yourself? And, and Luna. Why were you two here? We found it while we were searching this room. I thought you and Luna were in the lounge. Well, yeah. We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. Okay. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. Okay. I'm getting a little suspicious. I can confirm that. 
All right. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. Okay. You guys must have found it when you got here then? Yes. All right, then maybe I believe. How did you know it was a bomb? Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Why, what the fuck, what? Why? Oh, <laughs> she says. Well, during my train... What? Uh, what? Clover. Oh, wait, hi, hello? What's that about? Spill. Clover's eyes widened and she clapped her hands over her mouth. Anyway, this is definitely a bomb. Oh, no, I don't know. Back it up, tits. I don't think so. <laughs> we all heard it. You better spill. I guarantee it. How do you know? Oh, everyone's just gonna forget. Really, dudes? I just do, okay? Because she's a detective. Detective boobs on the case. You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. Mm-hmm. How do you know all this? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, how do you know? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. Well, they call me Detective Tits McGee. <laughs> what kind of occupation do you have? Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't tell you that. Uh, right, right. That'll that'll gain you some friends and allies in this. But of course, I don't even think you're interested in that in the slightest, so it doesn't matter. Spare me the bullshit. <laughs> Get her. Get her, Fi. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Seriously. Please. Everyone's just gonna go after you, girl. You're gonna be in danger. Just trust me. Uh, why? You hit betray? You're not saying anything? Who the fuck is gonna trust you now? Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. Uh-huh. It's an antimatter bomb. What the? What is this, Minecraft or some shit? Who the fuck has their hands on that? Antimatter? Oh, Jesus Christ. That, that can destroy a whole goddamn Minecraft map. <laughs> what? Wait. You mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Well... <laughs> oh, you know what that is? Oh, oh, have you heard of it? Anyway, yes, you're right. <laughs> These girls! Uh, what's Annie Hill Nation? <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. Why? He's only like eight. Huh? Ten? I don't know. Why? Well, your name is Quark. What? Oh, true. You do know what that means, right? It, well, I mean, it's a Star Trek character. Yeah? It also used to be a, like a, an Adobe program for like uh, graphic design. Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle, one of the smallest bits of matter. Why would your trash wielding grandpa know about this information? But I don't really know anything else. Okay, it's all right. I see. When you're young. Can Excuse you explain me? it to him, Tenmyoji? Excuse me, why do you know this though? Is this part of your garbage man training? Me? Well, you know him best. I yeah. thought you could explain it best. Oh, she's trying to get him to spill. Uh, let I me bet. think. Um, oh, I bet. I don't know. It's hard to think of a way to explain it in simple terms. Well, how come you know then? You want me to do it? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, Lord. Fine nodded and turned to Quark. Okay. To begin with, we usually refer to bits of matter as particles. But there are also these things called antiparticles. Uh-huh. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. Yep. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. <laughs> it has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. Is everyone writing this down? So, protons have antiprotons, and neutrons have antineutrons. Oh, shit. We are getting a science lesson. Antimatter is a general term that covers all the antiparticles. Yep. The thing that's interesting about antimatter is that because it's the opposite of normal matter, when they collide, they both sort of cancel each other out. Right, right. When they cancel each other out, though, it releases a whole bunch of energy. And the only reason I know this is because of Minecraft. <laughs> you can only stop an antimatter bomb with another antimatter bomb. You have to detonate it near the, the one that's going off, which is almost impossible, unless you're, like, invincible. So... An antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. Yep. Everyone got that? It's great. Oh, me. <laughs> um. All right, it's fine, kid. Sorry. I don't really get it. It's fine, you're young. Oh. All right, how about this? Just tell him about Minecraft. I'm sure he plays that. You've got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposites. 
What happens when you put them together? Um, wait, I don't think you should be asking him this either. Wait, hang on! Um... <laughs> well, if there were, uh, quantum men and women, then when you put them together, they disappear. Oh. Because their opposite elements cancel each other out. I see. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... Uh-huh. I know! A baby! Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I knew that it was going to go there. I fucking knew it. Exactly. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. Yep. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. <laughs> and harm things. <laughs> and blow stuff up. And like every baby That's does. That's kind of a strange explanation. Well, listen, it worked, though. You followed it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, so don't worry about it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, but that thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Well, I mean, we could tr that just sounds like a quitter. You, you don't know, so you try it. Just how big of a... Uh... Stick your dick in to see what happens. Just how big of an explosion are we gonna get here? Well, it depends what you do with it. Wait, what? Never mind that. That's pretty simple, actually. Forget what I said. Just use Einstein's E equals MC squared. Oh, I mean, I... Oh. I, I mean, I was just doing that five minutes ago. I do that daily, ma'am. The mass ma loss during annihilation will be converted to energy, so... Yes. So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. Ooh, that boy. That you the amount of energy. My one brain cell firing everything. For example, let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. Uh-huh. That would mean there would also be 350 milligrams of matter, right? Yep. So you'd have 700 milligrams total. Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. Okay, okay. That's a lot of joules. We don't need that many family joules. That's too many people. That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. Oh, okay. Okay. That I understand. Jesus the... Christ. You've got to be kidding me. But there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Yep. Well, doesn't technically, matter. it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. It still doesn't matter, though. That's not the Get point. It? it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds. You like, you like that? You like that? Don't get so excited. <laughs> Listen, he just really likes bombs, okay? Who I doesn't? think I know what kind of bomb this is. I will say it then. It's probably using antihydrogen. Okay. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. Right? So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? Dang, you people... Is everyone here a math person except me? I don't know, how can they do that in their head? What does that mean? About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. Damn, you know, I can solve puzzles sometimes, but nothing like these fucking conversations to make me feel like I am I need to go back to school or something. A ton? Oh, a TNT block. I know how much that does, though, because I've played Minecraft, so I've got it. I've got You guys have got this. I know how much explodes around a TNT block. Yes. Well, approximately. We're, we're good. We're good. I've got it. We're fine. We're saved. And how exactly should I not worry about that? Um... That's enough to blow up a 10-story building! It is true. True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. Oh, well, thank God for that. I can sleep well. We don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Right. Perhaps. But how do we know this is the only bomb? That's another thing. Has anyone looked for them? What do you mean? Now that we know it's here, we should probably go look. Look at it carefully. It's got a number three. That too, I noticed. There's at least three of them. Yeah, you're right. If the bombs are numbered... And there could be a number two bomb or a number one bomb out there, huh? Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb either. Right. There could be a fourth, or a fifth, or... Uh-huh. I mean, these rooms are numbered. Should we check all of them? Probably should. Logic would say... No, we're not going to do that. We're just all going to sit here in disbelief. I'll do uh, it. Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. True. We should move it. Let's go. Somewhere. I agree. Let's not hang out in the bomb room, please. You just step forward and reached for the bomb. No! Yeah, don't... Maybe don't touch it? Don't touch it. Good lord. What are you going to do with that? Alice grabbed Dio by the wrist and jerked him away from the bed. 
What the hell do you think you're doing? Bro, are you trying to fucking blow us up? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Yep. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Well, then what the fuck are we supposed to do? I don't know, dude. Listen, this is oh, this is like reality television. We'll just have to leave it be for now. Until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. Okay. And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb that is probably going to kill us all? I don't think that's probably going to kill us, to There's be not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? That's the thing. Do you? You mentioned a remote earlier. Well, there is a way. Okay. Then spill the beans, lady. <laughs> how do we turn the damn thing off? Yeah, dude, tell us. There should be an emergency deactivation password. Okay. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. Right, okay. How the fuck do we find that out, though? So we just need to get this password? Yes, that's right. But there's no keyboard or anything on the bomb. Look again. Is, wait, is there? You see it? Right here. There's Where? a port. Oh, at the bottom there, that? If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Oh, you just connect, you plug it in, I see. Then we can enter the password. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, this isn't great. Who would do something like this? Uh, probably the same person that set up all the, like, that's the problem. We've got bracelets that could kill us at any point. I have no idea. Probably the same person. So we can figure out when they did it. Oh? Oh, yeah? When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? That's true. I, I, either it was an oversight or it just wasn't here at the time. So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left. True. After we left, huh? But when we went and checked the chromatic doors, we were all there. And after that, we've all been around other people. There's no way anyone could have snuck off to plant it. I don't know about that. Oh, no. Here we fucking go. Time for suspicion to be cast. And you know what? We're gonna listen to that suspicion in the next one, yeah. So here we fight. It's literally Among Us. We're, we're about to just go deep into it. Oh, crap. Well, I'm very excited. I want to see how this is gonna come out. Oof, this has got me now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this as much as I am. And uh, I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!